Hello, you guys. So I'm at my parents' house right now, so that's why uh, you don't see the same um, scenery behind me. Um, so I decided to make this video to tell you guys why I've decided to stop the iodine treatment um, or the bromine detox. So I have been doing it for I had been doing it for about two months in three weeks and uh, I decided to stop doing it because I was having way too many symptoms I don't know exactly what it is uh, it might just simply be the fact that uh, my body cannot filter through my kidneys well enough because most of my symptoms were not related to the thyroid because most people that, that do the um, iodine treatment it's it's to help their thyroid but in my case it was um, most symptoms that I had while doing the iodine treatment were related to adrenal fatigue so I have a feeling that my body was unable either to filter the bromine from the bromine detox or maybe there was too much iodine in my body I don't know I, I I'm not sure um, but I had way too many symptoms, so I just decided that I would stop. That, that was, three months was enough. Uh, I might start over again. I still believe iodine is important to have in your system. Um, the only thing, though, is I'm not 100% sure it's, it's that good in huge quantities. I guess I'm going to have to follow different people on the internet and check out different forums but for me right now it is not working so I decided to stop reasons I decided to stop well first of all um, it's, it's my digestion was getting really really bad it was it was not perfect to begin with but definitely not to the level it's at right now right now I'm really mix between constipation and diarrhea and and always being bloated and having my stomach kind of feel acid and being uncomfortable all the time um my sleep is extremely bad so i round up being extremely tired like i said in previous videos i wake up i'm tired i i get tired at one o'clock three o'clock five o'clock and nine o'clock and then I can't sleep until three or three and a half in the morning. So um, extremely tired all the time. And the main reason that got me to decide to stop is I know people that have uh, adrenal fatigue. Obviously, um, their bodies are, are always stressed, so they're they're kind of always tired but wired, which is the way I feel right now. Uh, but one of the symptoms is also having your knees feel weak or, or when you stand up you kind of feel weak so at that point when I started to feel that I'm like I'm definitely I have to stop I cannot continue doing this so I'm I might try the iodine treatment again um, but definitely not to the level that I've tried it right now and if I do I'm gonna try to heal my adrenals and, and my kidneys first before uh, doing such an intense treatment and like I said I'm not even sure 100% sure that it's actually the bromine detox or just having so much iodine in my body iodine um, and either way the healthcare professional that I was with uh, is not helping me out uh, that much he was at first but I think a lot of healthcare professionals they um, they have a protocol and an idea in mind and if it works for most people it's alright but the second they have someone that it doesn't work as well as it should it's either well continue doing it continue doing it or okay you try taking less and see how that goes and but the treatment works for sure because it worked for me and works for everyone and but they're not really helping me out like, uh, like I'm an exception and it doesn't work as well as it should and um, 
I knew there were there was going to be while doing the treatment there was going to be a detox period, but definitely not as intense. And I think your health care um, professional should definitely tell you like if you're tired at one o'clock, three o'clock, five o'clock, nine o'clock, and you can't sleep till three and half in the morning because of the treatment that you're taking. They should definitely tell you, well, you might not be able to work during that period. Like, I am lucky enough because I started the program knowing that I would not I, I would not be working for maybe one or two months, but then I, I'd start working again, but now it's been like over, over three months. So definitely, I think your healthcare provider should say that, but mine did not. So, and right now, every time I try to contact him, I just have a feeling that he is like, um, well, you're not doing it properly, or even though I'm doing 100% of what he's telling me, it's easier. It's easier instead of saying that his approach might not work for everyone. I believe it's kind of easier for him to just say, "Well, you're not doing it properly," so or are you doing something else, or are you messing it up, or whatever. So instead of of taking part of the responsibility, especially because it costs a lot, like in all the supplements. And just paying him, paying for the test that I had done, brought it up costing me like over seven hundred dollars for three months. So that's a lot of money. I was also considering that I'm not working. And so, and even at the end, he had me done another test, and the other test didn't prove anything because because uh, my my system was working properly, and he just rounded uh, up. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Sorry, I I most of the time speak French, uh, but uh, just like dismissing me, like believing that it was it was my fault instead instead of his that he didn't know how to help, or instead of admitting like uh, I apologize, I don't know what to do next. Um, so yeah, I decided I would take care, listen to my body, and take care of myself. Like I preferred the way I was before actually starting the treatment than how I am right now because uh, I'm about five times worse than I used to be. I, I used to have problems with concentration and, and I was slightly tired during the day but definitely not as intense as I am right now and the fact that my stomach started hurting and my knees I was like I have to stop for a while so I just wanted to keep you guys posted on that because I've been doing videos for the last Three months so I uh, just wanted to tell you guys that I have uh, presently stopped taking the iodine I might take very small like the, the minimum re requirement in a day of iodine maybe in one or two weeks from now I might start over again but I will probably not do the uh, bromine detox um, so that's what I wanted to say I'm sorry you guys my video was a little bit long having problems getting my ideas out so uh, that's all I had to say, so I hope you guys had an amazing day, and bye.